The first new feature is an improved quick note. Now I'm here in OneNote, but I'm going to switch over and I'm going to pretend that I'm researching and I want to pull up one of those quick notes, which is kind of like a sticky note. So I'll switch over to a website. So I'm here on the Bing homepage. This looks like a really cool picture. I'm not sure what it is and maybe I want to take some notes. I will do the Windows key, Alt and N, the letter N, and it pops up the quick note. And there are some nice improvements to this little quick note. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Here's this new toolbar. So if I want to just do general typing and formatting, that's pretty standard. I'll take some notes. Maybe I want to put a checkbox next to that right there. I'm going to close this. I can also switch to pen mode. So here I've got pen, highlighter, and erasers. If I want to do pen here, I can draw something. There's my little picture of a temple. Maybe I want to highlight some things here, highlight Thailand. If I want to erase it, I can do that as well. It also has a screen clipping button right here. I will click on screen clipping. And now the screen will go blank and white here. I'll just click and drag. There's my picture, let go of the mouse, and it pops it right into my quick note. So there it is on the page. Now I can just close this and it automatically will show up in my quick notes area in OneNote and I'll show that in a second. You can also go right here. And if I wanna open up all of OneNote, I can just say open in OneNote. This pops it right into the OneNote desktop app. So it's right here in the lower left on quick notes. You can see down here and I can have it at any time. So again, to launch the quick note, if you're on a different website or you wanna quickly pop in a note, do the Windows key plus Alt and the letter N as in Nancy. The second new feature is that we've brought the graphing assistant into the OneNote desktop app in M365. This has already existed in OneNote for the Windows 10 app. Now it's in desktop as well. Here's a math equation and I'm gonna highlight this right here. On the insert menu, you can choose Math Assistant right here. Another option is if you go to the draw menu, you can also choose Math Assistant. So I'm gonna choose Math Assistant. This opens up the right hand pane and you can see that the math equation was converted there and you can solve for X and that's already existed in the past or solve for Y, but we've now added graphing. So I will click graph and this pulls up a graph. And this is very similar to what we've had in the Windows 10 app. I can go here and hover and look at the different coordinates. I can make it a little bit bigger, zooming in. I can go zoom out. I can also insert that right onto the page. So if I click this button here, I'm gonna insert the graph onto the page. I'll actually go and click to make sure I'm not highlighting here or else I'd replace my text. I will click insert graph. There it is, run on the page. I can select it, make it bigger. Now I can highlight and draw on that graph. So maybe I wanna get a red pen here. I'll go to shapes and choose a line. You can do all sorts of stuff on your graph. So especially for math teachers or students who are using OneNote, having that graphing capability is really handy. The third new feature is that OneNote is directly integrated into Teams channels now, which is really handy. We've had this for education customers, but now it's part of all commercial and business customers as well. So anytime you create a channel, it's gonna create a OneNote notes tab right up here. You can see at the top, I've got a notes channel. So any channel, automatically will create a notes part. And there's a notebook that is attached to the Mark 8 project team. So to show what this looks like for a new channel, I'll hit the three dot menu and I will choose add channel. We'll give it a name, my TPS report, and I will click add. It's gonna add the channel. And you can see there's the channel with posts and files and now there is a notes part as well. So I'm gonna click on the notes tab here and it's gonna load up that OneNote section. Here's that new OneNote section. We'll give it a little title, Bill Lumberg rules, and I can just start adding all the pages I want. If I open this up, I can see other sections that have been added. So I've clicked on design here. It won't create the actual section until you go into the channel. So for example, digital assets web, you don't see that here. But if I go to the channel, digital assets web, and I go and click on notes, now it will generate that section. So it's just, just in time creation. It won't create it behind the scenes until you actually go and click on it like I just did here. If you wanna open up the entire notebook, you can go here and say open in desktop or browser. I'll choose open in browser. Here's the full notebook opened up in the browser. You can see those different sections that I just created previously. And this whole notebook lives in that team. It's part behind the scenes of a SharePoint site just like a notebook normally would be. To briefly show that notebook behind the scenes, I will go to the Files tab here in Teams, then go to Open in SharePoint. I've opened this up in SharePoint, the Mark 8 project team, and you can see Mark 8 OneNote. If I click here, it takes me to that exact same notebook that I just showed. The fourth new feature is the scratch out gesture for digital ink in OneNote. So I'm here in OneNote desktop, M365. Go to the Draw tab, and let's say that I've written my name. 
Okay, I've written my name, and now you know what? I decide I don't really like seeing my name in ink. I'm gonna scratch that out. You can take your pen or your mouse and just do a quick squiggle like that, and it scratches it out. So just run a little quick like this, and it'll scratch out whatever is behind it. The fifth new feature is the ability to embed stream videos from Stream on SharePoint, which is like version two of Stream, inside of OneNote interactively. This was supported in the old classic version of Stream, but we're just bringing this to OneNote desktop on M365 right now. It also works in OneNote for the web and some of the other platforms. That is in Insiders right now, so it's not fully rolled out globally, but it should be very soon. And this is in early September of 2023. I'm gonna switch over to Stream. I'm here in Stream and I'm gonna go in the upper right and I'm gonna copy a link to this video. So in the upper right, I'll click the share button and choose copy link. Okay, I've got the link copied. Now I'll switch back into OneNote. In OneNote, I'm just gonna paste that link to the Stream video. And it renders that interactive video. This is kind of like it worked in Stream Classic and similar to when you paste a link to a YouTube video. Now it works for Stream on SharePoint and I can just play that video. I'm here in Microsoft Teams as there an educator and I'm gonna to go to the sixth new feature is superscript and subscript on iPad. I'm here in OneNote and I'm gonna type the letter one, then tap the AA and choose superscript. And then I'll type ST to make it first. Another example you can do is X cubed. So in this case, I'm gonna go down and type out X and then I'll hit the AA, choose superscript and then three for cubed. So really easy for math formulas. For subscript, it's great for chemistry. So I'll turn this off and now I'll do H and then go to the AA menu and choose subscript and then two and then go and turn it off again and then a capital O and you'll make H2O. So subscript is great for chemistry and other scenarios. The seventh new feature is Modern Sync has now been rolling out into OneNote desktop for M365. There's not a demo for this, but if you remember how we brought Modern Sync into the Windows 10 app, that means things sync quicker, there's higher quality, and across all the apps, it can get your pages in sync much, much faster. Now, the desktop app in M365 is rolling out Modern Sync. In September of 2023, it's not quite rolled out globally to 100% of all notebooks, but it is rapidly approaching that. And later into the fall, there should be full rollout and your syncing should be better, snappier, faster, and less errors. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.